good afternoon ladies and gentlemen good afternoon ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the madhya pradesh billiards and snooker association and its parent body the billiards and snooker federation of india uh, and the delhi college uh, the this college is the principal host of this very prestigious event i welcome all of you to this fine setting for the grand final of the ladies national nine ball pool championship now uh, i must make a special mention of uh, the rising q sports uh, promotion agency the apex promotes uh, sports uh, promotion agency which has uh, done a very commendable job in dishing out this very special edition of nine ball national pool championship thank you now before the ball the start rolling on the table i will have the privilege of introducing these two distinguished finalists to you mm. they are cross minded they are crossing the queues for the most prestigious title the national title in the country so uh, one of them is uh, in fact both of them are uh, old hand veterans in this game one of them has won the pool title uh, a couple of times she has also won the national title in billiards and in snooker also a number of times and also she has won the national title in eight ball pool so uh, ladies and gentlemen please welcome chitra maggi maharaj i'm sorry if i am unable to pronounce it correctly now her distinguished opponent is uh, still creating waves uh, at the global level uh, she has minded she won the inaugural nine ball pool championship for ladies uh, almost uh, 10 12 years ago after that she had given up the game then she has come back to the game and uh, she has won uh, the national snooker championship the national billiard championship and uh, uh, a couple of many other tournaments and apart from that currently she is world number 2 in 6 red snooker and 15 red snooker also so ladies and gentlemen please welcome vidya pillai now uh, the man in charge of this mo the biggest uh, match pool game pool game match for the ladies in uh, of the calendar q sports calendar and he is your local guy the anand tiwari from indore please this match will be played over race to six reds and now i will take uh, the pleasure to give charge of the match to mr anand tiwari thank you thank you thank you. thank you dear thank you a very good evening to you it's the final of the ladies nine ball indian national pool championships we are live from daily college in indoor two ladies hoping to be crowned champion of india are chitra m and vidya pilai we've just had the leg now referee anant tiwari is in charge and it will be vidya pilai to break off in this race to 6 it's alternate break wpa rules of course one ball racked on the spot just missing the wing ball there so with the first chance at the one ball chitra very famous in indian q sports she's going to be playing the push out she's called the push so get it tight on this rail or oh, a little bit strong maybe Oh, this is a real invitation this now can she swing the cue ball around two rails 
maybe with a chance of getting into them balls. It's an outside chance. It's going to be a safety off the edge of the two ball, hopefully swinging the cue ball around two rails up behind the seven ball. Nice shot, has left an edge but it's a very, very fine edge. tester of queuing and of nerve early on in this final. Yeah, nicely done. And I know one proud coach who will be watching, Pranit in Bangalore, will be watching his student. That's a great shot. Very, very nice contact. So off the side, left rail. I don't think there's any path through there. Looking for an easier route. I don't think there is one Chitra. She's looking at, she was looking at two, possibly three rails then. She still keeps coming back to this. She'd love to play it, but I don't think she can. Just after the middle, just after the side pocket, might have to straighten it up a little bit. She's going two rails, possibly three. So a chance then, ball in hand for Vidya to take this opening rack for the 2023 Indian National Championships. Vidya knows what it's like to win this tournament. She won one of the first ones ever. Around about 10 years ago, she was the champion of India. It would be a great achievement if she could win it again. She took a little break from Paul, but she's back. Both ladies from Karnataka. Bangalore area and I've actually arranged to play some pool with Chitra when I get there. I've had an idea. Chitra and I on the stream and we have the producer who's next to me, Sikleen, he can come and do the commentary. I reckon that's a good idea. If we can stop him laughing.
She was having a go at the nine ball there. Trying for an early win. Now then, first real nice chance. Looking for the rest, our referee Anant obliges. The devil's instrument, according to Jonas Ottenen, he will be joining me from town in the final of the men's. Nice little crowd in as well for this one. Very nice run out there, and it sends a message to Vidya. Chitra says, I'm here to play, I'm here to win this title. Chitra beat Indra Gowda on the hill in the semi final, six to five, and Vidya overcame Ishika Shah. Now, very, very interesting. Ishika, who got to the semis, her sister actually got to the final of the under 21 ladies tournament. That's San Vishar. So, good tournament for both of the Shahs. If they're playing 10 ball, let's hope they can go one better. Number two, it will be Chitra to break, leading one rack to nil in this race to six. Playoff going on at the moment as well. For the men's, we'll let you know how that goes. So, dry break from Chitra also. Pushing out here. Where does she push? To the left-hand side rail, I'm guessing. For those of you new to the game of nine ball, after the break, either the player at the table or the incoming player can play what's called a push-out. You can push to anywhere you'd like on the table. You don't have to hit a rail. You can make any ball. It won't count, of course. And if it's the nine, it will come back up. But then when your opponent comes back to the table, they have the choice of whether they want to take it on or whether they want to give it back. Chitra fancied it and played a great shot there. What a beautiful shot that was. Awkward queuing over the top of the six. Fabulous shot. 
Chitra has actually represented India at the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama. And she's won World Women's Billiards Gold and she's won World Masters Women Gold as well. So she's got good pedigree, this young lady. okay drew through the crowd of balls and she's nicely on this three not much to do with the cue ball both ladies are playing with Paul cues Chitra has gone for the carbon fiber well Vidya is old school She's got the maple. Played that very nicely indeed. Sounded a bit like a funny contact there. A bit of a miscue. Now, will she run the cue ball behind the nine here and play the seven to the side rail? Oh, she's gone for it. What a great shot this is. And she's made the nine at the same time. Well, who needs to make the eight when you can play a shot like that? Chitra takes the second rack. She's 2-0 ahead, race to six. She's third of the way to be national champion. Anant Tiwari racking the balls on the town. Max Rack, the latest product from town billiards. Now that's a nice break, made the wing ball. Oh, unfortunately, the party's been spoiled by the four. Vidya has quite the record as well. She's 2022 World Snooker Silver Medal. 
2022 World Six Reds silver medal also. World Team Gold in snooker. And she is the current Six Red national champion. So some very high accolades between these two ladies. I think she's, is she having a go at this or is she called push out? Sure, why she didn't push there. Maybe just a few nerves at the start of this final. Lost the first two racks. She had chances in both. So maybe just not thinking clearly at the moment. Vidya looking to play this in the side. She's looking to see, have I gone far enough? Watch the four ball. Oh, she could make it. No, now then, hooked by the eight. Little smile to herself. I bet she's not really laughing. sure these two young ladies have played each other many times in the past. I'd love to know what the record is between them, what's the score in matches, I'd love to know that. Didn't quite get enough right hand spin on the cue ball there. Now will she be tempted into the 3-9? I think she's looking at it already. pot five if you can just pot one mm. in it goes so it's a wreck on the board for Vidya Pilau thinking of Pia Filler when I say Vidya Pillai. Pia Filler going well in the Women's China Open at the moment. Reached the last 16. Kelly, unfortunately, lost two in a row. Kelly Fisher, and that is Chitra's favourite player in the world, Kelly Fisher. They're very good friends. No rack number four then, and it will be Chitra to break. Still leads 2-1, looking to get halfway to the six required. for the seven ball. Referee removing the rack. It 
it's dry, but no damage done. Well, this is one worth kicking at instead of pushing. Try and kick and stick the cue ball behind the eight ball. Well, last time when I thought she should have pushed, she kicked, and this time when she should have kicked, she's pushing. Just my opinion though, of course. Chitra can't play the kick and stick because it's from the wrong side, of course, of the one. Play a very, very nice safety behind the eight. Now, I'm not sure if any of these young ladies jump. I'm pretty sure Chitra does because I can see a jump cue there. Air rush, I think, and also Vidya has a jump break cue, so she just takes the butt off. And now she's going airborne for this one ball. Looks to have good style. Well, I know she can jump because I was sent a video of her jumping actually the other day. And strangely and weirdly enough, it was jumping over the nine ball to make the one, I believe. She was jumping over the eight ball there to make the one. Just went a little bit skew-whiff, as we say in England. So straight in on the one ball, on the cue ball. Just make sure you clear the eight. Yeah, nice shot. Well, we played that shot with her, didn't we? Perfect angle. just a little bit too much concentration on the cue ball. She got on the three nicely, just didn't make the two. She's going for another early nine, showing her intentions, the way she played to get on this three ball. She doesn't want to waste any energy. an element of safety here as well if she wants to try and get the cue ball behind the six or the five oh, she went all out for it well look at this just have to pot the three four five I think for an early win or is it just off angle is it I think it could be made though I think there's a gap between the six and the nine so anywhere over the right hand side of the table she can make the six nine might be split up here though screwing on the extension to her queue Would you believe that? 
all the way around, found the gap. Oh, one good shot here on the three ball. Certainly got very close to it. Unlucky. And it's great to see the ladies continuing on and growing the sport of pool, Q sports in general. Change the dynamic of the game. The five, six, nine is no longer on. It's been replaced by the five, but it's not a combo anymore. So there's still a bit of work to do to win this fourth rack. And I'm just looking around the arena and how lovely it is to see so many students of Daly College turned up to watch it. We actually did a seminar yesterday on Q Sports and pool in general. Well over a hundred students turned up for it. They were treated to some trick shots also from the newly named Elvis Paulsley. Shazad, who is a, a great guy, loves his trick shots. And he's actually just been donated a brand new table by Chetan Chabra for his home to encourage him to go to the next level. It was just discussed over lunch. So that's really hot news. Shazad is very good friends with Florian Venom Kola, who is the newly crowned national champion of American artistic pool. cue ball there was trying to clip it really really fine to get the hook behind the nine now we are playing three foul rule and she can really stick her in behind the nine here you wouldn't do that would you Vidya let's find out it is a final. No friends at the table. Thinking of banking it, is she maybe? Yeah, I think she's thinking of the bank shot. Kind of a two-way shot. I'm not sure she can get through to the potting angle. Don't think she can. Could take the five to the top right. It's aggressive. But it's on. Could send the five up and down again. Leave the cue ball over behind the eight. That's another possibility. I think she played that with some right hand spin. To just turn it in.
once again screws on the extension to her queue you can tell she's predominantly a pool player not as adept at using the rest as some of the other snooker players shall we say that's why she's doing everything she can to avoid using it decides there's no other way doesn't feel comfortable with it does she having a little practice with it oh, I don't know what all the fuss was about good shot a little smile there double kiss this in you know oh, she's going Nicely done, nicely done. Needs another good one here though. Cheeky Chitra. Nowhere near thin enough, so she's left this on. A chance for Vidya Pillai to draw level. for the cue ball to be cleaned. Changes her mind. Now you see that in snooker a lot, cleaning the cue ball, not so much in pool. Nicely smoothed in, so we're all level. 2-2. Two, two. And made in India, Vidya Pilla to break off 2 2, race to 6. <laughs> nice 
nice break. Makes the win ball. Has a shot at the one. Two ball down on this back rail. So it's well worth going for this one ball. More or less guaranteed to have a shot at the two. Following this around 4.30 will be our men's final. Between Kamal Chawla and Sandeep Gulati. That's still to come. And then after that we will have the presentation award ceremony. Nice shot. After that we all go and have a, a nice little celebratory party. Sickleen's gonna buy me a drink. Sure, he says. And then we're back again tomorrow for the start of the Indian National Pool Championships 10 ball event. That starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. So we can have a really good party tonight. chance here we're going to get to see our first break and run oh that was a good stroke that was wow tremendous shot really really good stroke oh, she's looking a bit glum I think it's because she's slightly straight on this. She must be able to steal a bit of angle, though. Worst comes to the worst. Just draw back to the centre of the table, somewhere near the seven ball, and leave herself a cut on the six. Must be able to manufacture an angle. Yeah, she did. Well, she could have got there, though, just by drawing back. Is she on it? Don't think she is. She can see some of it, but not the right side. So it's going to be a safety shot. Took that a bit quick, didn't she? I'm surprised how quick she took that. I think she was just a little bit disappointed that she'd hooked herself. We all love a break and run. Gives you so much confidence, especially to freeze your opponent out of the the rack completely. It's the second one of those. She did it on the eight earlier on, hitting a little bit thick. She might be using some English and just pushing the cue ball into the Object ball hitting it a little thick. Oh, she's over here, this by some distance. A little bit of adrenaline. Still cut it in, low left on the cue ball. Drag it over to the left-hand side of the table. She's going around the angles. I don't like that shot.
She's worried about the scratch here. She could play it in the corner. She doesn't want to because it's the more difficult shot. But to me, it's the right shot. Sometimes we have to take on a more difficult pot. I still think she can play it in the side and draw the cue ball. Even if she stuns and goes round three rails. was my first thought as well. I do get one right every other day. Really good shot that from Vidya. And another really nice shot as well. This is a good clearance. And this comes after she almost broke and run. Go out of shape on the six ball. But all is well, that ends well. And she takes the lead, three, two. She's halfway to the six to becoming Indian National Pool Women's Champion for 2023 at Nine Ball. great to see the young students in the arena watching the final, enjoying it. And you know, you just never know. They might just get inspired. Chitra. Breaking off in unfamiliar territory in this match. She's one down. I actually believe that Chitra is sponsored by um, Predator. I'm pretty sure she's a Predator player. She made the wing ball, but didn't control the cue ball. Got too much top on it. You want to be holding the cue ball in the centre of the table off the break. Just a little bit of a miss hit. It was accurate enough, just a little bit too high on the cue ball. So a push out called. Oh, the referee is pulling her up here that she didn't call a push-out. And I must say, I didn't hear her call a push-out or see her call a push-out. Yeah, and that is a foul. She didn't actually call the push-out. You must call it. didn't even gesture towards the referee that she was calling a push. So just a little bit of lack of concentration maybe. Don't worry Chitra, the best in the world have done it. Shane Van Boning has done it in the semi-final of the US Open against Aloysia Schiap. I remember it well. A 
little bit of a misjudgment there, I think. I think it goes. She's very hard to read, Chidra. Looks disappointed when maybe she's not perfect on a ball. She was a little bit annoyed that she came up short on that two ball. Always going to make the position on the three more difficult. not a bad little kiss on the eight ball. a good full contact on this three. She'll be happy with that, I think. Don't think she can see enough of the three to make it. A little bit risky if she's going for the combo. Played a safety, played it pretty well as well. There is an edge, but the scratch is on. Might choose to kick from the back rail. Right above the A, where it says race. contact again well the upside to that is Vidya didn't have to walk very far she's already there waiting that is a superb shot to catch it that thin from being on the rail. Okay, she's left a half chance here. But that was a really good thin contact from the rail from Vidya. Well, would you believe it? She's overcut it. bump on the four could have been a little bit more friendly on the five rather playing it to the top left That's confidence for you. Beautiful shot. Nicely played.
and Antiwari with his little gadget out. These are nasty little shots down the rail. Have to avoid the point. And you often see these overcut because you're trying to not hit the point of the pocket. Just like that. See it so often. I don't know why, but it always seems like the point of the pocket is sticking out and you, you try to avoid it and end up overcutting it. So needs to draw her way out of this low left. Oh, got some action on it, the carbon fibre doing its job. Nicely done. Eight and the nine into the same pocket then. Over hit it. Psyching herself up. Turned her elbow over. Once again, Vidya having the cue ball cleaned. Doesn't want to risk any skids, kicks. Needs a bridge hand on the rail here, I think. It's just in between. Just awkward. Slightly too long to be on the rail, slightly too short to be on the bed of the table. No problem though, it's in and she opens up a two rack lead. Now it's 4-2 and Chitra going out for a break, a very wise move I think. And we're going to go for a quick break ourselves, we'll be back soon. बेटा जल्दी से दूध फिनिश करो पापा मम्मा कहती है कि दूध पीने से हड्डियां मजबूत होती है तो घर को मजबूत करने के लिए क्या करना चाहिए <laughs> बेटा घर को मजबूत करने के लिए एक मजबूत नींव की जरूरत होती है और मोहरा सरिया घर की नींव भी मजबूत करता है और घर को सालों साल सुरक्षित रखता है जिस तरह दूध बनाए हड्डियों को मजबूत उसी तरह मोयरा सरिया बनाए घर को मजबूत मोयरा सरिया हर नींव की धड़कन
Lion Roar. We are ready for some more action. Just waiting for Chitra to come back in. She led, and now Avidya has taken the lead. Four racks to two, just two away from being champion of India. At pool also, reigning six reds, Indian snooker champion. Multiple winner, 2022 World Snooker Silver, 2022 World Six Red Silver, World Team Gold in snooker for India, and of course the latest one, the current Six Red National Champion of India at snooker. And I meant to ask her what her highest break is. It's over a hundred. <laughs> final coming up almost straight after this one. Kamal Chawla against Sundeep. Gulati, and that will be a race to 11. Here comes Chitra. Going to enter your screen just about now. There she is. Welcome back. Vidyard to break, looking to get on the hill. That's a good break. Two balls down. be worth having a go at this one, you know.
position from two to the five is key. go around two rails now just below center and right hand spin on the cue ball back to roughly where she is now just a little bit shorter yeah that would be perfect then stun off the side rail up for the seven Just got into the cue ball a little bit too low. She drew it very close to this bottom left hand corner pocket then. But she can just draw this straight back. Doesn't have to go all the way. Anywhere round about. Just past the side pocket kind of line. Trouble is she's got a stretch. She's going to need the rest if she well, she's maybe just going to drop it in, take her medicine. She had the wrong spin on it. She inadvertently put left hand spin on it, so it killed the cue ball off the back rail. she go for it. She could play the seven ball straight down towards the nine and get distance. Looks like she's going for it though. Oh, she'd love to get on the hill now. Give her at least three chances to win it. Oh, great shot. Round of applause as well from, oh dear, oh dear. Well, how unlucky can you get? Terrific shot on the seven. Ends up hooked behind the nine. It's just not fair, is it, Vidya? Good solid hit, but she's left it in the side. It's all about the weight now, the pace of the cue ball off that top rail, back down towards the nine. It's all about the pace. How's the pace? Well, a little bit short. Well done, and it goes four three then. That bit of misfortune for Vidya. Played a fab fabulous seven ball. Looked like she was going to have a shot at the eight, and then all of a sudden, that nine ball got in the way.
just this one table in action at the moment in the badminton hall here at Vidya at uh, Daly College in the beautiful city of Indore, the cleanest city in India. I'm very proud of their city. Nine tables in total, and they'll all be action, in action tomorrow from 2 p.m. when we start the 10 ball discipline of the Indian National Pool Championships. Chitra steps up to break, rack number eight. dry. Is there a path through to the one ball? She can certainly see enough of it, I think. She's looking to see where she wants that cue ball. Yeah, I like it there better. big area to play into, around about centre table on the halfway mark of the side pocket. So I just have to be confident in your stroke or is she playing safe? Deciding to play safe. get through to this. Good shot. Nicely done. Three ball. Kind of in the way. Well played. One of my favourite people from England tuned in. Hi, Carly McGee. We're both a little bit in mourning at the moment, Carly and myself, after Kelly's exit from the China Open. We've got the three biggest Kelly Fisher fans in the world right now. Chitra, number three, me, number two, and Carly McGee in the chat, number one. We are the Kelly Fisher Fan Club. She's called Quickfire. We are the Quickettes. Don't know where that come from. Ignore me.
It's a tricky little rack, this. Look, they're all in pairs. Look, the six is married to the nine. The four is kind of in a relationship with the eight, but it's starting to break up. And the three and the five are pretty close together, but at least there's a combo on. There's one relationship broken up. The six and the nine are no longer together. But she's created another one with the two and the seven. <laughs> oh, what a pretty pattern that is, look. shot, holds her hand up, got a little bit lucky, went for it, or is it on? Might be on this. Might have to just swerve around the six slightly, but that will help, because she needs the cue ball coming over to the left-hand side of the table for the three-five combo. No, she can't see it. Going two rails. She's left it as she, she certainly has. So a chance then for Vidya to get on the hill. In the semi-final, Vidya beat Ishika Shah, who is the older sister of Sandvi Shah, who reached the final of the under 21 ladies. Completely misjudged that. I think she just hit it too thick. She had right hand spin on the cue ball and it just pushed the cue ball into the two ball, hit it thicker than she wanted and lost all the pace in the cue ball. Well, she might as well go for the combo off that top rail. It's the only shot she's got, really. She might as well go attacking. So three onto the five. Good try, but she's left it. It's a tricky little shot, this, though, because she's got to follow the cue ball to have a shot of the four into the top left. Yeah, it was a tough little shot that. Played it well though. About as good as she could have expected. Can play this to the top left draw the cue ball off the side rail with right hand spin. Oh, nice idea. Has she had a bit of luck? I don't think so. Yeah, this one is on. Just spotted in the audience once again, Who GC, the 2011 World Temple Champion, is here representing Predator. He's the guy in charge of signing all the pro players, in charge of sponsorship. Nicely dropped into the side there from Vidya. Wonder is he eyeing up another possible sponsorship deal? Already has Chitra, I believe. Nice oh, 
shorter pace. Might have to play it into the corner. Chitra not looking too worried, just sitting in her corner, checking her nails out. Nicely done. Referee called into action once again. Clean that cue ball. In one of our men finalists walk into the arena as well, Kamal Chola. Looking to get his hands on the trophy. mentioned Pia Filler. She's knocked out Jasmine Ocean in the China Open. Nicely played. Very nicely played. Perfectly on the nine ball to get onto the hill. And in it goes on the hill. She will be feeling tickety-boo. Back in a tick. Breaking on the hill, the current reigning six red champion at snooker, Vidya Pillai from Karnataka. A ball down. Referee getting the little gadget out to remove the max rack. Very well done. Performed with the dexterity of a surgeon. Oh, how stupid would I have looked if he'd have dropped the three ball on top of the nine or something. wants to run this two ball past the five. That 
Chitra under pressure now. She knows that any shot from here on in could be her last shot in this year's championships. Trying to hook her behind the six, it's leaked out. Three ball does pass the six, at uh, the nine rather. She had a go at that. In the US Games in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, she actually met Carly there. How cool is that? Who's cooler, Carly or Kelly? Who's cooler? Double kiss. I wonder, our winning nerves just getting a little bit to Vidya. Very nice shot, very, very nice shot. That deserved a round of applause. Give her a round of applause, Ciclone. Thank you. So she's gonna have to swerve the cue ball here a bit, I think. She wants to hit just after the side pocket on the left-hand side. Oh, it's a very small target from this way. Don't fancy her chances. Two rails. Good shot. Very good hit. Eli with one eye on the trophy.
nice little friendly bumper Rooney on the nine ball. I stole that word from one of the best commentators in the world, Tony Robles, one of my good buddies who's really helped me in my career. shot really nice stroke I can't think of any one kind of moment in this match that's you know been the difference between these two it's just been Chitra maybe has missed one or two more than Vidya. Neither one has had, you know, more run of the ball, so to speak, than the other. It's been pretty even. Just missing those balls at crucial moments, maybe, is the difference. Just has to pot this, maybe play it with some outside to go to the rail and out. Oh, she's gone up and down. Oh, it's a brave shot, a little bit close to the side rail. This to stay in the championships. Done, cue ball, pulling up just in time. Chitra having a little laugh about it. It's 5-4. It's not over just yet. We're going to take a very quick break and we'll be back after a message from Tao. I'm sorry, it was Las Vegas, not Alabama, where Carly and Chitra met. Reminds me of a song, been around the world, and I, 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 I can't find my baby. Who was that by? Good break, oh dear. What a great break. Unfortunately, the cue ball went in as well. Made two balls 
well, three, but one was the cue ball. So looking around the table, two to the three, three to the four, Vidya's speech yesterday at the presentation actually encouraging all the girls students in Daly College to take up the sport it's one of the few sports she said where physical power doesn't come into it so they can compete with the men on every level played left herself a really nice angle as well on this three ball head up north towards the four five and six nearby as well so this really is the key shot in this rack get nicely on the four to enable you to get to the five don't scratch. Well, I've done that. I've done that on Hill Hill in both side pockets. I thought, I'm not doing that again. So I went the other way in the next one. And I scratched in the other side. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> this guy sat next to me pushing all the buttons. He's, well, he's a funny chap. doesn't just do the production, he's out cleaning the tables and a bit of an all-rounder is so clean. Oh dear, oh dear. How oh, is she? Just feeling the pressure a little bit. Although the shot from the three to the four wasn't great, almost scratched. That was the problem. Had she been middle of the table, it wouldn't have been no problem. Now a chance. Quite the character, Chitra. Sounds like a good name for a nice little small car. The Fiat Chitra. It's a cute name, I think. The Citroen Chitra. There you go. Anyone from Citroen watching, there's the name for your next small car. moments at the end of this final great shot great shot wow are we going hill hill This is a gutsy performance from Chitra from 5-2 down, 5-3. And now it looks like it's going to be Hill Hill, just a few pots away. Even the eight to the side would have liked just a little bit more.
she can nudge into the nine here, take the risk, or she can draw to the back rail and back out again. How confident is she feeling? Running into the nine. She might even make the nine at the same time. Well, she's certainly gonna make it now. We are going hill, hill, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 5-5 five, five in the final of the Ladies Indian National Pool Championships of 2023. And I think both ladies, well, I thought they might be taking a, a little break, but no, she's picked up the break cue. She can't wait to get on with it. Chicha wants, uh, sorry, Vidya wants the break. Wow, what a great comeback. And very fitting final for it to go hill hill. One more rack will decide who is gonna pick up the bigger trophy of the two. Will it be the reigning six red snooker champion about to break off or will it be multiple gold medal winner Chitra it's a good break she's made a ball oh dear no shot on the one on the two ball it's gonna have to push out I kind of like pushing down near the four ball here. Just missed the nine. Remember though, to call a push out. You might remember earlier on in the match, Chitra didn't call it and was fouled well, I feel nervous for them I'm shaking in the commentary booth going for the bank two-way shot A little surprise she didn't go for the bank there the problem I had to do something with the cue ball does she go thin and go up behind the eight or does she just play three straight back up the table and hold behind the nine seven she's over the hit this by some distance
hope the winner doesn't jump up on the table like they do in some of the tournaments nowadays because we've got another final to play on the table. Good shot on the three, unfortunately. No real shot on the four, so it's going to be another safety. Four to the side route. Cue ball to the other side route. Oh, she's going thin. Yeah, that's a good shot. Nicely played. Just to let you know, guys, the final of the men's championship will follow this final more or less straight away we're overrunning just slightly but this has been a very very tense tight and entertaining match i've thoroughly enjoyed this let's hope it's not decided by a piece of luck a shot on not easy to get to the six it does pass the eight much easier safety shot on though send the four ball back down towards the nine cue ball over behind the eight off the side rail could go the other way of course thin the four on the left trouble is you might hit the eight with the four and stick it up. I kind of like the four ball up and down, to be honest. The right shot, in my opinion, just a little bit harder would have been perfect. But now she's asked the question of Vidya, how are you feeling? Are you confident to take it on or not? There is a similar safety on, send the four back up the table, cue ball off the side route behind the nine. Looks like she's taking it on though. Good luck. Wow, that's worthy at winning. What a great shot that was. She's okay. She's on this six. You've got to stay positive, Vidya. You're on this. You've got a chance to be champion. Four more shots. Just cue this nicely down the rail. Cue ball automatically coming back to the centre of the table. Concentrate 100%. Well, so 99% and 1% are not fouling that ball with your jersey. Nice shot. Nice shot. She's lovely on this seven. She would love to get closer to the eight, though. How is Chitra feeling in the chair? She can't do anything about it. She'll be hoping for just one more chance.
Good confident stroke. Wants it to slow up, slow up. Afford to get any stun on this, just need to nice high ball smoothly stroke it in around the angles. Oh, she's a little bit short, close again to that side pocket. Oh, what a nervy, nervy shot she's got to play here. Chitra sat there, can do nothing about it. If this nine ball goes in, she will be the first to congratulate her though. Such a lovely, sweet person. Here we go. She's done it, but where's the cue ball? It's okay, and Vidya Pillai has won the Indian National Pool Championships Ladies Nine Ball for 2023. Chitra put up a great performance, came back from 5-3 down to Hill Hill. It just wasn't to be. Congratulations to Vidya Pillai, who adds the Nine Ball title to her six red snooker title. Fabulous. And we'll be back with the men's final in a very short while. Join me and Jonas Ottenen for that one. See you soon.